Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today I have a very special how-to. This is uh, me teaching my son, Morgan, how to field dress a deer, how to skin a deer, and how to quarter a deer. Guys, let's do this. I got my um, Outdoor Edge Razor Pro, got a piece of string, got the butt out, and got a really sharp uh, skinning knife. So, um, first thing I do is gonna get the butt out with the butt out too. You're gonna stick it up in there as far as you can, all the way up to this base. Turn it till it stops about two times, and you're gonna pull it out. Right? We're gonna cut it, tie it, and then the, the um, intestine will keep all the poop inside of it and none of it get inside the gut, gut. So we'll start with that, all right? So get your butt out. Get your butt out. <laughs> all right, you gotta see the, stick it all the way up in the butt. Pull the tail out of the way, okay? Yeah. All the way in, all the way in, all the way in. Turn, keep turning, turning two times until it gets real tight. The tight and pull it out. Not tight, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and pull. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Stop right there. Just, okay. To pull the inside skin out and then tie the string around it. It's like it's like reversed on itself. Oh, there you go. Tight. Okay. Tight. There you go. You see that? And I tie tie a string around that. That would be the part that goes back inside, and the other part that's still attached to the uh, the body there. For those that missed that, when we pulled it out, the uh, butt out two came off and it ripped the outside skin. Normally you just cut that and then you tie the string around the inside and then when you pull the intestines from the inside, everything stays with it, nothing can fall out. There you go, tie a knot. And now that you're straddling the deer, go ahead and just grab the skin on the, on the stomach, cut a slit so you can get your uh, skinning blade under it. Normally you don't wanna cut the hair. You wanna grab a hold and cut right next to your finger so you don't cut the, you're not sawing at it. Got your skinning blade. You're gonna just slide that under the skin all the way up to the sternum. With your fingers under it, under the skin. Slide that. The blade's on top there and just go straight up. You ain't gotta, you just gotta pull it. You ain't gotta saw or anything. And that It's not pointed. And the reason it's not pointed is so you don't bust into that gut cavity. You just lift up, see? And that cut like, cut like butter, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Awesome, good job. Now don't cut into that yet. That's the that's into the gut sack. So now let's go into the same thing all the way down to the pelvis area. And now you want it to delicately cut into the uh, abdominal cavity just a little bit. Now don't poke it, you want to slice it. Okay. Okay, just slice it. There you go. There you go. Get your finger up under there. Okay, yeah, there you go and just ride it all up two fingers under it get two fingers in the hole and go all the way up it's like butter look at that see don't cut that stomach sack oh you go under that you're on the top one you need the muscle one you need to be in the bottom one there you go that one all the way up till you yeah all right go ahead and slide back the other direction make sure you don't cut the guts okay that's good now we're gonna pull them all out put them in this bucket right here there you go. All right, and just pick up that stomach. Pick up the stomach, pull it out. Oh. Yeah, that's the stomach, it's full in it. There you go. All right, next step, now that you got the intestines out, go ahead and reach up inside the diaphragm, pull out the heart and the lungs. Just reach both hands in there and pull it all out. You'll feel the big old heart. We'll save that heart. All right, to hang the deer, cut the right behind the tarsals there, slit that, cut away from yourself, turn the knife around, cut away from yourself, stick it in, there you go. Slice it up, oh, there you go. Now do the same thing with that one. Stick it in, slice it up, there you go. Cuts easier there. All right, now put that up on the gambrel. That's called a gambrel, the thing that lifts it. All right, now just start raising the chain. You'll see whichever one raises it. 
Thank you. So right there are our tenderloins. Go ahead and get those out of there. Take a hand on either side of it. Take your fingers deep, deep. And make sure you get the whole meat all the way to the bone. Get behind it, there you go. Slide your hand down. Okay, it's like a tube of meat. Okay, same thing up. Okay, you can cut, cut when you get to the top. Careful, that's a very sharp razor knife. <laughs> yeah, very sharp. Pull that down, cut the bottom. All right. two tenderloins and a heart. Go ahead and slice up the quarter there. Slice right up, just keep going, just push straight up. All right. Okay, flipper not, there you go. Grab this piece right here. Do the same thing all the way up. To where? All the way back. Right. Just kind of go under it so it lifts it up. Keeping the tension, pulling up. There you go. All right, that's good. Now let's do this side. Lift up, pull up. When you basically the pull, pulling and cutting just takes it right off. Now you got the hardest part, the very top done. Now start pulling down and cutting. I like using that uh, skinning blade because it doesn't have a point on it, so you don't cut the meat. Um, a lot of people, you know, use a different blade, but if you if you have it angled right, where it just cuts the the, the skin layer, that fat, it just slides right off. And you pull down at the same time, pulling down and separate, pull down, separate. Anyway, you see my baseball method of, of you, uh, once you get it past the tail there, you tie a baseball into the skin, tie a knot around it with a rope, and then use the Kubota and pull the rope and it just takes the skin right off the deer. All right, now grab a hold of the fur, put your forearm on top of that skin and push down with your forearm. Oh yeah, <laughs> keep going. All right, now we'll do this other side. Once you get past that tail, you'll be able to take it down the entire back just by using your forearm. It's pretty cool. Now they got the skin over the rump there, got that tail separated, go ahead and pull straight down, pull, pull. It will all come right off. <laughs> there you go, right off that tail, okay. Now you can put your forearm in that back. Grab a hold of that right there. Put your forearm into it. Pull straight down, look at that. Now we can start lifting up and get towards this back strap, baby. Oh yeah. Start separating that fat, pulling down on the skin. 
Let's go pull. Keep pulling. Look at that. <laughs> pull. Oh, take this shirt off. <laughs> right huh? Yeah, you cut that right there. That's the flank. Cut it off? Yeah, you can cut it off. No, no. I don't keep that right there. It's a little thin piece, but you can go jerky and stuff. So now we'll just pull pull this side right here. Pull. Oh yeah. Now come over here, this side. Pull this side. Oh, look at that where the bullet went in. <laughs> All right, go ahead and just uh, cut that head off. Not much below the meat. Here we go. Has a hard time cutting through the skin there. Sava can see. We can use a knife for that. It's all right. All right, now, right. now go ahead and just cut across the shanks there and the fronts of the, a little bit lower, right there, yeah. Get through the bone. Then we can cut the rest of the, we cut the meat with the knife. Okay, get through the bone on the other side. We'll cut through the meat with a knife. go all right I'm going to cut the meat there that's the esophagus see that all right now cut the we're going to, have to get that head uh, separated from the skin and everything so we can send it off for chronic wasting disease testing hopefully this uh, beautiful nanny here is uh, clean so we can eat this back strap baby oh yeah all right let's cut the back strap out and grab a hold of the there you go. Gonna slowly, you're gonna go right against the bone. Right against the bone, all the way down. Okay. Now cut across the top, right where I show you, right under there. Okay, all the way over. Okay. You come straight down. The rib line, come straight down, all the way down, keep going, you, the, go over the ribs, over, yep, 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 there you go, there you go, all right, so now we just got to reach in here, Morgan, reach in here, and you start cutting, cutting right up, turn your knife over, turn your knife over, cut up that top, okay, there you go, and then start separating that from the bone, it's like you're filleting a fish. Or separate that from the bone. You want to be cut the top because actually once we get this start to separate, it'll just pull off. It's just crazy how it pulls off. Just start separating from the bone. There you go. Get to the very top. Okay, all the way. Get the top across there. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful meat, Morgan. All the way. All right. All right. Now, as you now pull down, start cutting right here, right there. Cut all the way to the bone. You don't waste any of that back strap. Get that top left, and that will start pulling down. Start pull down. Start pull, pull, pull on it. Keep pulling. Oh, don't, don't waste that meat right there. <laughs> That's bone right there. Okay. All right, pull. See if it comes down by itself. Separate that top piece. There you go. Now it should start pulling. Just pull, pull it, pull it straight down. All right, now cut, cut it. Yeah, it's, it's starting to it's staying attached. Yeah, look at that. If you've had this hanging for a while and you go to do this, it just pulls right off. It's crazy. Ah, look at that back strap. That's the my favorite part because it's so thick and get a good medium rare cut on it. Oh, this is gold, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Cut that right there. Cut that right there, top left. All right, just cut that, cut that right there, all the way across. Straight across. Show me, show me a back strap, buddy. Oh, 
look at that. <laughs> Put in the cooler. It's bone. Yeah, no, it's so it's it's not bad at all. That's no, look how clean look how clean you did that, Morgan. Look at that. That was a great job. Great job. All right, let's get to the other side now. All right, go ahead and separate the shoulder. The shoulder is not attached to the body other than muscle, cartilage, tendon. So it, it's separate. There's no ball joint or anything. It just separates. So you can get right behind that shoulder blade. Make sure you stay on the shoulder blade muscle. We'll save the neck muscle. That rooster over there is having a good old time, isn't it? Just cut right behind that shoulder blade. Hold on to the bottom of the leg, and it will just fall right off. There you go. You just slide it right off. We'll clean up all, everything from the, the shot. You didn't really damage the shoulder hardly at all. Just slice right across there. We'll clean all that other stuff up. And boom, shoulder. Okay, we'll clean that up, stick in the cooler. Just do the same thing to the second shoulder. Start slicing under the, under the blade there. Take it right off. Now for the third best part of the deer, we got the uh, tenderloin, backstrap or loin, and now we have the sirloin. So it's the front part of the ham, front part of the leg here. He's gonna cut right there along this side, and that's just gonna pull off one big muscle. Go ahead. Straight down, straight back. About a half inch deep. Okay, cut all the way in deep right here at the top, all the way in, keep going below that, there you go. Straight in, all the way to the bone, there you go. Come to this side, slice in just about a half inch. Down. Okay, down. No, nope, no, nope, stop. Now grab, hold this right here and pull down. Start separating at the top. Straight to the bone. Keep going all the way to the bone, the front, just the front. Kind of pull down. Okay, separate that, cut, cut a little bit. You'll see that'll start pulling down one big piece of meat. You can go ahead and cut that side there. It's, it's has its own little muscle tissue and it's just one piece. Go ahead and cut right there. Just follow that bone all the way down, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Left side now. Keep going. Cut a little bit more top. All right, once you get past it, go ahead and flip it back. Now look, now look right here. Stop for a second. See right there? This is just one piece of meat. Get your hand up under there and you can pull it right out. It's pretty cool. Get your hand up under there. Slide up under like that. There you go. You yeah, may have to cut the top there a little bit. And it will just pull right off. Yeah, go ahead and get your knife. Sorry. Get your hand up under it so you don't drop it. Cut that top. Look at that. Pull it down. I don't know how second right there. Cut that little fat right there. Watching your finger. Pull that towards you. Now look, now look at this. Pull that back. Pull. Cut that right there. Okay, now show, show it to me. That is the sirloin. Check that out, guys. Delicious. Now we are going to get the top and bottom rounds off. And I like to do it as one big piece. So he's just going to cut right through there. All the way around this side. Right there come down through the bottom and then the top and bottom round will all come off one big around this femur bone. So go ahead and do that. Straight to the bone. Oh, oh so don't, don't waste any, stop, stop. Don't waste any meat right there, okay? So go straight to the bone. No, you already done it now, so just go ahead and cut right there. Yeah. Okay, so come on this side, right across there. See those, that line? Just follow the, follow the muscle line. Come down. Okay. Right to the bone. There you go. Now, watch this. Cut that straight to the bone down there. Okay. There you go. You got it. You got it. All right. All right. Come on this side. 
Do the same thing right here. <clears throat> Cut. Now this is Morgan's first time, so uh, guys don't be too mean on him in the comments. Uh, cut right there in that muscle. Separating this round here. We'll get the shank meat later. Okay. So basically you got this separated. Now come on this side and just lift up on this and just start separating all the way to the bone around the pelvic, pelvic bone. And don't waste that meat right there. Okay. We'll just come up around and go around. All the way to the bone. There you go. Now it's going to come back towards you around that hip bone there. You might start right here. Yeah, there you go. Cut around that fat. And then come back, watch this, right right there, right there. The bone, yeah. Oh, oh, there, you there you go, you got it. Yep, yep, you got it. Come up right through there. That Razor Pro knife is pretty nice. Come on, I'm gonna turn around this way. Come right, right here, right there. Separate right through the pelvic area. Straight down. Come now, separate now, come under here. There you go. Look at that, just separating. Now, what you can do, start to pull this back and start to separate that from the bone right there. Now, I, can use, I got a meat hook in the Kubota we could use, but I got two people. Normally with one person, I use my meat hook. Come back on this side, and you just gotta separate that bottom there. Gotta hold on to it. Come above that bone. See how it's separated right there? You can just move the meat and you'll feel where it separates. Look at that. Bone. See it? There you go, top and bottom round. And you can see the muscle, how it separates. You got top and bottom round, it makes good roast. Some of it's a, a decent steak, but I'll use it mostly, mostly for roasts. Now we'll get the, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get the rest of that, that stew meat off there and stuff we missed, get the shank. And uh, you go ahead and get that one now and we will wrap this up. Hope you enjoyed today's special tutorial, guys. It was special for me because I got to pass along these hunting skills to my son Morgan as they were passed along to me. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life's reviews and how to's, what are you waiting for? It's free. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out on Ridge Life. And guys, until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.